Good afternoon, everyone. It is week three, October 18th for uh, Kyushu Institute of Technology 7B. I'm your teacher, Jose Cruz. Let me give you an, ex um, an explanation of what we'll be doing for this week in your Moodle assignments. Okay, week three means that we'll be moving on to the second chapter of your textbook. And the second chapter is called An Important Person or Thing. And we'll be doing some fluency exercises for that before you hand in your manuscript this week. Your main assignment is to hand in your manuscript for chapter two, important person or thing. Um, I noticed with your manuscripts from the first one that um, a lot of you um, didn't use as much as you could have of your first um, of your first uh, uh, manuscript as you could have in the, uh, in the video. And some of you basically took the manuscript that you wrote and you tried to memorize it and you tried to read notes from it. Now, I'll be talking about that a little bit later. But remember, the challenge that you have to, to write these manuscripts is not the same challenge that you have to actually do the videos. In the videos, I want you to speak naturally. That means that you get ideas from your manuscript, but you do not read notes. You do not try to memorize, or you just don't look very good. You don't look natural. You look very stiff. And essentially, it's against the rules for you, especially to read notes while you're walking. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. Okay, so your main assignments are to hand you in your manuscript for chapter two. Uh, you will find the uh, place where you can actually write that on pages 20 to 21. Uh, take a look at the, pa uh, the page written mostly in blue on page 19. We'll be talking about that as well. Uh, and uh, also you have a reflection exercise. And this reflection exercise is about using YouTube subtitles. Now, like this video, I'm speaking English, but you're going to find that um, in YouTube, you can actually change the subtitles from English so that then it doesn't, it doesn't become just a listening exercise, but it becomes a listening and reading exercise, and you can change that over to Japanese. In any case, I want you to watch this video, I want you to think about it, and then I want you to uh, reflect on this question, okay? How did Mr. Cruz recommend you use YouTube subtitles for your English study? So what specifically did I say? This is what you should do. What was the method that I recommended? And then put that into the reflection exercise for tonight. Okay, so watch this. It takes about, I think, mm, seven minutes. I think this video is not that long. But think about it. And then in English, answer this question. How did I recommend that you use the YouTube subtitles? The uh, ready to present videos will give you an idea on some gestures that you can use. And that was something that I noted in your first video. A lot of you are still not used to using gestures. Some of you are trying to use gestures, but you didn't aim your camera so they could be seen. We'll be talking about that a little bit more too. Okay, so here you are, your reflection exercise. That's your main exercise and uh, your uh, manuscript for chapter two, important person or thing. Also, don't forget, if you haven't done the reflection exercise for uh, number two, which is to change your iPhone video settings, because it seemed like some of you didn't understand what was going on. You were still making very, very big videos uh, when you submitted them to the Moodle. And you no, know, personally, I don't really care if you want to send in really big videos, but it's going to take up a lot of space on your phone if you make a lot of videos at 4K or 2K resolution. So if you haven't done this reflection exercise, please do it. If you still haven't done the self intro video, I will accept late submissions, although I will probably penalize them for being late. And uh, this week, your reflection exercise and your important person or thing manuscript submission. Okay, if you have any questions, you can ask me if you're in class now. If you uh, are not in class, remember, here is my email address right there. And you can always send me an email. Okay, thanks very much.